Hi students, today we are going to study about the real time clock. So before that, I will give you some introduction about the real time embedded system. So what is a real time embedded system? In a real time embedded system, all process will complete within a predefined period of time. Okay, so how the embedded system will track the time? So the embedded system will track the time using a real time clock. So real time clock is a very important part of embedded system. So the real time clock is a system component that is responsible for keeping the track of time. Okay. So this real time clock will give information about the time to the embedded system okay so this is a very important part of the embedded system okay so the real time clock will hold the information such as current time okay so what is the current time so the current time will be stored in a format like hour minute and second Okay, so that is the format. So usually it will store this time or it will uh, keep a track of time in either 12 hour format or 24 hour format. Okay, also so it will keep track on date, month, year, day, a particular day of the week, etc. And this timing will be considered as a reference for the embedded system okay so this rtc will hold the current time which day it is which month it is which year it is all these information will be given to the embedded system okay so this embedded system has to work even if the power is not there Okay, suppose the, the embedded system is turned off. What it will do? So, the embedded system is turned off. Then also, it has to tra track the time. Right? So, in order to track the time, what we have to do? We have to provide a battery to the real-time clock. Okay, so we are turning off the main power supply so if you turn off the main power supply then also the system has to work so for that purpose we will provide a, a battery to the real time clock okay so this real time clock is available in the form of a integrated circuit okay so it is developed by different manufacturers like uh, maxim uh, Dallas, then ST Microelectronics. So these are the common manufacturers of this real-time clock system. So this real-time clock consists of an IC and a corresponding circuit plus a battery. Okay. This is the block diagram of a real time clock okay so this is how a real time clock will look like okay so we have a real time circuit then it will be connected to the two terminals of the battery okay so this real time clock will display the time okay here we are using a 12 hour format okay so this 11:30 it is displaying and 8 1 2001 like that the date is also the date month year is displaying okay so simply we have to connect a battery to the real time clock and we can make it work okay so that is the importance of real time clock so next thing is so this is the diagram of real-time clock. 
so if you look into this diagram so what we can see so we can see we can see two sides okay so one side consists of uh, ICs and uh, the other side consists of a battery so this is the battery that we are discussing about so this battery is connected to the real time clock okay so in the other side uh, the IC is there so this IC will gi give the track of time okay so if you look into the IC so it is having eight pins okay it is having eight pin okay so it is connected to a uh, crystal so x1 and x2 so this is an oscillator okay so we are connecting this to an oscillator and 3 and 4 so this is the battery we are connecting the 3 volt battery to this IC so the third pin is VSAT and fourth pin is ground okay so if you look here we are connecting uh, two resistors of 1 kilo ohm each and again we are supplying a plus 5 volt supply okay so this is the circuit of a real time clock so the IC that we are using here is DS1307 so this is a real, real time clock IC DS1307 so this battery will always be connected to this DS1307 Okay. So even if we are not supplying the power, this battery will provide power for the internal clock. Okay. So using that internal clock only, this real time clock will work. Okay. So the real time clock chip contains a microchip for holding the time and date related information okay so another important thing is the backup battery cell so the backup battery cell is used for functioning in the absence of power in the single IC package okay so that is the purpose of backup battery cell so this one is the backup battery cell so this point okay this point this is the backup battery cell this battery cell so this rtc chip is interfaced to the processor or controller of the embedded system so we are directly connecting this rtc chip to the either processor or controller that we are using in the embedded system okay then if the embedded system is based on an operating system so we need a timing reference okay so what is the purpose of this timing reference it is used for synchronizing the operations of operating system kernels okay so for synchronizing the operating system kernels we need a time reference for that we need the time date month year etc okay so that is the main application of real time operating systems real time um, clock okay so if you are using an operating system such as real time operating system it requires a reference okay at what time the operation has to perform okay those things are required okay that will be provided by the real time clock okay so what does this real time clock do the real time clock interrupt the os kernel by asserting the interrupt line of the processor or controller to which the rtc interrupt line is connected so we will connect to this RTC interrupt to a particular line of the processor. Okay. So this RTC interrupt line will provide a signal to that 
particular line where we are connecting the processor or controller okay so that is the main purpose of using a real time clock so the os kernel it can identify the interrupt in terms of interrupt request irq okay interrupt request number that is generated by the interrupt controller okay so in every system we have an interrupt controller so how the interrupt will work the interrupt controller will generate uh, an interrupt request number okay then it will be uh, we are checking we will we will check the those interrupt in the interrupt vector table okay so from the interrupt vector table we can find the values of what the program counter and ip value so using those value we will find out the physical address where that particular uh, interrupt program is stored then we will fetch that particular program to the processor and we will execute that processor okay so for a real time clock if you are executing a real time clock the os kernel will identify the interrupt okay and these inter interrupts are identified in terms of interrupt request number that is generated by the interrupt controller okay so one irq interrupt request can be assigned to the rtc interrupt and the kernel can perform necessary operations like the system date time updation or managing the software timers etc okay when this rtc timer tick interrupt occurs okay so this is how a real time clock works okay so basically real time clock is a i see it will track the time okay so always the time should be correct okay so one example i will tell okay in your laptop or mobile phone okay if you are turning off your laptop or mobile phone okay and after some time after half an hour we are turning on the mobile for phone again okay whether it will show the correct time or not obviously it will show what the correct exact time date etc so how is it possible because inside the inside the motherboard will connect to one battery okay so that battery uh, is used to connect to a real time clock and uh, it will be always working so it will keep track of the time okay so like that uh, we will track uh, the time and uh, the time of this uh, uh, system whether it is pc or uh, uh, cell phone or whatever it is the time will be accurate okay